Uh, is anybody seeing this? <laughs> what? Hold up. What I? What just happened? All these chests. Look at this. This is a sign of beauty, lads. And just wait. It gets much more beautiful. Welcome back to episode of Lost. Today on our survival today we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. Hope for the most amazing variety and today, boom! We actually have a little bit of an update being applied over. It took to sector seven, so without further ado, let's dive into it. Earlier today, Veronica posted a little update in sector seven. We've changed the punishment for death in the multiplayer zone. From now on, there is a chance your weapon and armor will lose durability or potentially even break when dying some parts of items in the inventory may be lost be careful while exploring the infected zone so pretty interesting announcement here because this pretty much comes like the first day kafir is back in office if you guys recall i think like two days ago we pretty much shared how you could actually use kind of the current system or the system that was in place before to actually potentially swap items with people who might also be within sector seven right so it appears that i don't know if this is related it is def it's definitely an interesting coincidence though you gotta say but it pretty much does render that tactic that we were utilizing a little bit personally risky because like what if you're trying to give someone like an mp5k for example and that is the gun that like totally breaks or loses durability so definitely some risky business going on over there and just overall kind of poopy news if you ask me but let me know what you guys think regarding this obviously it sucks potentially that they did it for balance issues or something the timing is just kind of like it really sucks it was like just two days ago man i showcased how you can actually trade stuff and now it's like well that could potentially be obsolete so word of warning to any of you guys that might be trying to utilize that tactic that we showcased a little bit ago that may potentially with this new implementation somehow bite you in the bum so it's a little bit of a bum biting warning and hey stay away stay away stay away boy this is my stuff the freaking chest savagery man never gets old never gets old oh my god look at how many people are on this one chest over here jesus man everyone's thirsting for the chest but uh yeah just kind of, so just a little bit of a word of warning to any of you guys that did see that video it is now going to be a little bit risky to utilize uh whatchamacallit the tricks that we were showcasing and everything and god dang it i don't need me no boots i gotta find me some scout pantalones and then we just gotta murder a ton of zombies so hopefully we can find like a gun in one of these chests because that should definitely help us murder things i would love to know what you guys think about it in that comment section down below love to hear your guys' thoughts thoughts and opinions around it because i'm sure that this is probably going to be a pretty hot topic within the community so definitely let me hear your guys's chiming in and whatnot within this definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys got to say and whatnot and remind as well that that comment is going to put you one a third of the way it's a week at 12 dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you got to do as well is make sure like button make sure subscribe that will ensure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that would be what for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information as soon as anything new is coming out. We are always spreading that info straight to your guys' eyes and ears. Not to mention that we are oftentimes breaking down that info, connecting it with information released in the past. Stay away from my chest. Oh my God. They actually kind of helped me take that person. And then, okay, they're still going to try to swoop in for the chest over here. Ah, give me that. Okay. We got a pistol. That's kind of what I was looking for over here. Uh, at some point, we're going to need to get like... Mm, we got to... Ah, so here's the poopy thing. We need to make sure that we could grab a pair of pants when the time comes. Because uh, that's exactly what we need to find. I know that we left behind those shoes before. That is because we literally had to. We need to have inventory room for other stuff. That's just the way that Sector 7 works. When you're looking for specific things. And you already have a full inventory of stuff. I actually saw some of you guys in the last video be like... Star, it hurts me to see you throw things away. I literally have to. I can't do anything because of the insanely limited storage space that sector 7 provides like honestly are like i gotta literally show you guys over here like what's taking up all of our storage room right over here look at this look at this look at this stockman pete already has a full set of scout armor and an mp5k so that's not being touched we have another set of scout armor over here and we have almost another set stacks of band-aids and at, at a certain point you do need to unfortunately start deleting things so i know it's a little bit of a heartbreaker but that is how things do need it, it just how it happens once you get enough stuff within sector seven there is literally zero work around towards it trust me it pains me just as much as it pains you guys deleting things 
brings a tear to my heart. And oh, mama, there might be a lot of enemies we got to fight over here. Oh, ho, ho, cheeky, cheeky. We snuck on in. God dang it. Nothing that we need over here, man. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of that. I'll toss that out. I'll pick up the new one since we do need to be murdering a ton of zombies. And TBH, I might see if we can maybe uh, get into some combined tussles over here. Oh, I saw that man about to go and swoop in on this. I already got swooped. Never mind. But yeah, we're going to be staying up to date with any new updates that do come out. Checking out everything that they have to offer, regardless of how much loot we got to blow through to show off those things. Every single thing within that update is going to be shown off for any future updates coming into the game. Not to mention... Let's not forget that notification bell is a great way to stand up to date with- God dang it, shoes! Why'd I have to get shoes? No, that is not how you stay up to date with shoes, okay? I cannot get you the latest news on the newest pair of sneakers coming out. Unless maybe it's a new pair of sneakers coming to last day on Earth. In which case, I got you, boy. I got you. God dang it. I do not got the chest that I'm looking for, though, in this god dang pair of pants. I found three freaking boots and not one pair of pantalones. How? Is this possiblemente? Back to what I was saying though, the notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can, can enter in on full that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well, especially Life After, which a lot of you guys seem to be absolutely loving so far. And we have actually, we're gonna be trying to make that series daily alongside Last Day on Earth due to the crazy amount of support the series has been getting. Like that's what I'm saying guys, there's been a whole ton of love for that series. So if you have not given it a chance yet, I would definitely recommend, God dang it, get out of your ashy runner. Someone's gonna come in and steal this just now. <laughs> Why must this place be so savage? But uh, definitely give it a look if you haven't already. Look at this person, man. The savagery. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to get this person spit on. There we go. Okay, they probably... I, did they get pantalones? I don't know, but um, now I'm being the one attacked by a spitter. Okay, I'm going to evac this zone as well. Not trying to deal with the spitter when I have no weapons within any of my hands. <gasps> Whoa! There we got the pantalones and we are done with this beauty but another potential solution after that immense hype of finding a pair of pants i know but uh another solution that i think it could work and something that hopefully they'll implement is you know if someone's trying to steal your chest you should be able to fight that person i think having pvp zones implemented might be a decent solution to this problem because then if someone's trying to steal your chest well while they're trying to open that chest you just go ahead and the pump them full of some bullets here or there bada bing bada boom pow 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 and then they drop dead you get their loot and you get their chest i think that could be a good way of doing it but also given kind of like the little bit of latency and little like miniature lag that's kind of present between like firing your shot and like seeing damage actually happen in game I do think that they need to get that ironed out before they add in PvP zones. Otherwise, PvP zones are going to be a mess because like if you guys imagine like you know that like little bit of lag as we attack a zombie well the thing is the zombies like constant on the server right but if we're attacking a player you know like what we're seeing might be a, due to that like little lag that's present that hopefully we'll be able to get fixed absolutely asap uh due to that like it might just like lead to really desynced pvp battles so definitely something that does need to be corrected before pvp gets installed as a solution but let me know your guys' thoughts around it in that comment section down below i'm gonna prepare for this raid and i will talk to y'all in a sec. And hokey dokey boys and girls, I am prepared for a raid. Let's go fill up on the gas of this. Let's actually go and put this water away into a uh, water uh, thing. Water, what? Rain catcher. I couldn't think of the name. I'm sorry. Cut me some slack. Put it into the rain catcher. We're going to be a little bit of a stinky boy, but that should be okay. And for the raid that we are going on today from the research that I have done, let's hop onto our chopper because we do have two hatchets within the back end the 2c4 at our disposal which if my research has gone correctly should be more than enough to do stuff now people always ask like star wait, how, how do you research things i feel like i talk i feel like i like directly say how i do it in every video like every time that i talk about research yet people like still ask this question so guys this is how i research things look up like for example right here player 5915 look look that up in youtube right there this is how i research things Look up the name of the base in YouTube with like LDOE or Last Day on Earth, right? And what will end up happening is you should be able to find raids of that base that kind of showcase where what what just happened. Did anyone just see that? Hello? Um What? I'm confused, Sean. What was Uh is 
anybody see this? <laughs> what? Hold up. What I what just happened? Dude, I think this raid's glitched. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can't be serious. This is a glitch now? Oh, mamma mia. I don't know how this happened. This should not be happening. Maybe if we cut, like, look, look at this. Oh my God, there's literally zombies attacking me. The zombies are disappearing from the map. Like what, what is going on? Look at this. They wander over, they disappear. You literally can't move like a what? We, can we not even raid today? Is this like just not gonna be allowed? Like if I go away from this base, it's just gonna disappear. Okay. <laughs> you can't be serious. I am baffled right now. What just happened? Well, I, all right. There's, there's today's base raid. Just kidding, guys. I don't care. What is this? Do you guys see this weird camera going on now? With things feel really weird. I'm going to restart my game. Something really weird is going on right now. And I have no idea what the deal is. This is really odd. BRB. All right, guys. So whatever glitch was going on looks to be fixed because like we're not like lagging behind our camera or whatever just happened but what we're gonna go ahead and do is commence in another raid this one hopefully we'll actually be able to go to so let's go ahead and prepare for this one i'm probably gonna go grab a couple of more hatchets we still have two c4 at our disposal at least we didn't waste one and somehow get glitched so at least we have that going for us but yeah we're gonna go ahead grab some more hatchets and talk to y'all Wait a sec. And ladies and gentlemen, from doing a little bit of research into this new base, let's really cross our fingers this glitch doesn't happen because this base is about to be infinitely more lit than the first one. Because that first base, after researching it, I think it was literally one chest within a stone wall. This next base... Oh, mama, it's about to be a little bit more than just one chest inside the wall. Star, what do you mean? Well, 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 let's, uh, let's go and showcase that off, shall we? Hello, uh, player 6878. I hear that you have some good stuff in store. Me, I like when stuff is in store because then I take it from the store into my backpack and then go and store it into my base. This is gonna be a great place to do exactly that. I hope you guys are hyped for a dope raid because I believe this is going to qualify as one from looking into it. So now I do believe that there's actually going to be a turret. Yep, that's turret right there. Okay, so there's gonna be a turret over there that we do need to kind of concern ourselves with just a little bit. What we're gonna wanna do is actually break in, take out the turret, obviously that's gonna be a big one. I think breaking in through here should actually be a pretty good spot because there is going to be a redonkulous amount, god dang it, I didn't mean to get on the chopper, I meant to look at the back of it. There's gonna be a redonkulous amount of chests within this base, which is why we don't want to unnecessarily break any that we don't need to. And we should be able to access the entirety of this base, if I'm not mistaken, with the help of Vun C4. So a bada bing, bada boom. In we go. Let's just skedaddle our way over here to the back of Mr. Turret. Hello, Mr. Turret. How are you doing? I equip my katana. I bring death to you. Luckily, this turret is not smart enough to turn around. This turret's like, oh, what's that? What's that itching sensation in the back of my modules? Oh, person hitting me with a katana? Can't be. No way. I'm just going to continue looking around like absolutely nothing abnormal is happening. You keep doing that, ch you keep doing that turret. I was about to call the turret a chest for some reason. I'm too excited by all these chests. Look at this. This is a sign of beauty, lads. And just wait, it gets much more beautiful. So if I'm not mistaken, I think this chest is going to make us incredibly happy. I am freaking correct. That's one VSS. Tally her up. That's a bunch of angry zombies. Tally them down six feet under the ground. Let's bring them to their grave. I believe this chest over here is also going to make me a happy camper after we go and make this floater bloater a dead camper. That's what you get for coming and visiting the uh, Star Snipe Day Camp. Because if you're a zombie and you visit my day camp, odds are you're really visiting the uh, dead camp <laughs> and let's go 
that is what I'm talking about. A SCAR, arguably the rarest gun in the game and the most powerful rifle out there. Always happy to pick me up one of those. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that this chest over in this corner should be pretty dandy as well. Let's freaking go. The dandiness continues with one full set of SWAT armor and a little bit of the first aid kits. Oh, wait, but star, there is more because now that this turret has been destroyed, check it out. There's also a refining furnace over here. This refining furnace is going to make you a very happy camper. First things first, we got to get a couple more dead campers over here and just, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You knew what you were signing up for. Papa Star over here is running this daycare, all right? I'm running this day camp and let me just say, me and zombies do not have a friendly history, okay? I probably have a total last day on with a zombie kill count within the thousands, probably tens of thousands. Let's freaking go. Iron, that's not, well, yeah, iron, but aluminum and copper bars available in those two. We already have some incredibly valuable things that we need to store away into this. And this is the type of raid I've been craving. We haven't had a good raid like this in a while. And oh, oh, oh I forgot the sensation of having one of these bad boys. And this... This is the good. Yes, yes, okay. Now, I do believe that there are also some other handy-dandy chests, if I'm not mistaken. There should be a couple of pretty juicy ones up here in the upper quadrant. Let's freaking go. We're getting more guns out of here. And some cameras, too, which we could scrap down into some valuable stuff. I do believe that these two chests over here are also relatively on the valuable side, if I am not mistaken. So let's peek on in and actually, okay, not too shabby. We see the stack of this. Uh, we'll go and put a couple more things away make sure that, that our chopper is completely stocked before we decide to uh which mccall get out of this base because we are uh, breaking through things quite quickly let's also see what the chopper has in store for us and it's got some gas we could potentially siphon unfortunately i do not have any water bottles on me if we find some different story but for now we put the things away and we're good to go yet again and we got a couple more freed up inventory slots our pistol's about to break so we should be able to have another pocket slot as well which will let us bring home one more loot than we would have otherwise brought i think that this chest should also be kind of on the decent side if i'm not mistaken and ooh, baby baby Fa -la 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 -la. Ooh, baby baby i like what i am seeing I can go ahead and collect a little bit of aluminium wire, of which I think that there should actually be some more within uh, this thing uh, right over here, known as the furnace. We got eight mo coming our way. Whoop, 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 whoop. We got some fast biters coming our way as well. Let's make sure to go ahead and bring death to these fellers as well. And then we're going to have a ton of, not a ton, but we're going to have a couple of toxic abominations coming our way as well. I probably should have put the M16 away instead of that other pistol. I'll probably go and change that for some reason. My mind totally blocked out the M16 apparently. I just make sure to take these dudes down. And I know that there is a ton of chests, but like I'm saying, we are prioritizing breaking the chests that we know for a fact to be really good. And these chests are going to make us very, very happy campers in the long run. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go and swap that pistol out for that M16. Because we do want the most valuable stuff being stored in here. Since the, this is a raid that we got from the Raiders. Since our revenge raid was the biggest dud in the history of duds that can physically happen. We literally couldn't even break anything if we wanted to. We just spawned so far outside of the map. I don't know why I started breaking into that one. I just, my, my raiding instincts took over. But I believe that this one over by the acid bath ain't too shabby itself either. And yep, we got some copper ore. We got another pistol coming our way. We got some more SWAT armor, which we should honestly go and swap ours out for since ours is gonna be even better or the other armor is going to be even better durability at least by a little bit uh we do still have enough noise i don't know exactly how much but we should have enough to like break one more thing without too much stress so having that taken into account i think that breaking into this chest should also be semi-decent and this might be our last one that we do without duress and oh never one to turn down a military backpack thank you very kindly for that and car air filter is also pretty dope so i will happily take this from your hands and now the question becomes what else 
do we break? Because the next thing that we break is going to summon a very, very, very angry camper. I think that this chest over here might be like semi-decent, so I'm kind of tempted to break into this bad boy. We just got to make sure that we got no regrets, because as soon as this one gets broken into, oh, to go when it's about to get tough. And uh, yeah, that could get tough. So, I mean, yeah, I'm happy with what we got out of our inventory here. If we need to swap anything out, I, I wouldn't mind swapping that out. I wouldn't mind swapping out the katana couple things like that obviously wouldn't mind swapping that out so i guess this kind of little row that we got popping off here could be swap worthy and and yeah yeah it's looking pretty good to me so let's break into this last chest before we call today a oh mama oh my god i've been betrayed i've been betrayed i've been betrayed my computer computer please now's not the time to lag dude oh my god you got to be joking me. Hokey dokey, guys. Absolute scariest moment of my life. We just had a ridiculously good raid. Almost turned completely sour because my computer decided to go full. I don't even know. It just decided to have a nuclear meltdown as we were breaking the chest to summon the big one. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure Last Day on Earth has been slipping my computer a 20 under the table to try and have me killed. This is the only explanation for the worst the timing ever to do that. And it only ever happens with the emulator too. So I think just something about emulators, like they're just like laggy or something. That's the only explanation I could come up with. But uh, yeah, boy is definitely not setting foot back into there. Very sorry to say guys, that raid is complete, but I'm not gonna lie. We still ended up making like bandits on out there and that ended up being a very very productive raid for us if you ask me but with that said with that done that's gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up for this episode of last day on earth survival thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya